Hey up YouTube, it's Sam from Sam's Garden Maintenance. And in this video today, I'm just in between jobs and I've taken of late of bringing some milk. Milk, I don't drink milk. And making a cup of tea. Now, obviously this cup of tea is gonna sort of elicit responses because it's already pre-brewed. Brewed, so it's basically fucking stewed. And obviously milk, but I've got some biscuits, so it's not all that bad. So, and obviously it's peak sort of season, so you can see just what a state the van is. There's cloths everywhere, there is. So, like I said, now what do I want to talk about? So, as I said, it has been very busy, so I've not had much chance. Ah, scolding. I have not had much chance for an update really now my ipad is broken i do a lot of editing on that so at the moment i've literally just been filming this style of video but i actually prefer that in a way i'll be honest with you um we're not here to you know make a huge channel so what do i want to talk about well i just want to have a chat with how things have gone and how things have been now first off it has been really 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 busy at the moment ah it's duty it's been so busy at the moment so that's what's been dominating so far and i think to myself you know is this season going to be crap is it going to be bad and the answer is is this time i honestly think during you know if we have another heat wave i think it might drop off a bit but i'll be honest with you so far this year i have had the best year i've ever had and it has been so incredibly busy that i you know at the moment i'm pretty much doing seven days a week and um I, don't worry about me i'm not gonna get burnt out um you know it, it's it's easy it's better work and with this i've been able to sort of fetch out some of the poor performing jobs and this is what i want to get onto a little bit on in a bit in a while so as i said it's been very busy uh, i hope everybody's the same from what i've seen of other youtube gardeners and on facebook i think everybody is just as busy um i am just i've never known it i'll be honest with you it has been so ridiculously busy i can't believe it uh, i've got three quotes to do today uh, and this will be my easier day and i've got sort of half a day's work but it has been just ridiculously busy um now the one thing i do want to talk about is the good customers are going to get better and the worst customers are going to get worse i said this at the start of the year and this is one thing i can 100 percent agree with um uh, if, I look, if you look on Facebook at the moment, there's no end of people that are just getting shitty customers. Um, and, and I'm no different, I'll be honest with you. Now, the good customers have been, you know, there's been some really nice customers. The customers I work for are brilliant. You know, they're going sort of above and beyond. They're saving work, they're recommending work. It's going brilliant. But it does often tend to get overshadowed by bad customers and I have never ever had so many pointless tire kicking you know quoting customers that I've ever had in my life you know my gardening life I've had no end of people that have that are just I don't know what they want I'll be honest with you um that I think they want to price over the phone or something without actually describing it I've had people that have basic uh, Facebook Messenger is the prime example. Uh, the recent one, I had a bloke Sunday morning email uh, message across. Uh, how much do you charge for gardening? How much will it be to do my two front beds? That was it. There was no pictures, no description, nothing. Uh, and then about 20 minutes later, I had question marks appear. And a little bit later, it turned to exclamation marks. And then it was. You're clearly not bothered, don't bother. And that was Sunday morning. I was in Sheffield at the time competing at a competition. So, you know, 
what the fuck can I do? It's Sunday morning. How desperate are you? So what could you be? I didn't even bother replying. There's no point. Uh, no end of customers that, uh, you know, I think in a way, I think sometimes there's a reason people are calling this late in the season asking for a gardener. And I think it's because they can't get one because they're a shit customer. I know that sounds horrible. Uh, and it, it, you know, it's meant to be in a way because some people just are not nice people to work with. I have had no end of people that they, uh, and I, I've surmised in a previous video, I think it's the dregs from somebody's gardening business. I think they've just got rid of all the shit customers. Um, it's the previous person's worked for £15 an hour and uh, they're expecting me to do the same but even less um, stuff like that and uh, I'll be honest with you I don't want it uh, and it, it just amazes me it's such a, a stubborn mentality like don't get me wrong I don't mind if people are hard up and they say to me like say look we're hard up, what can you do? Yeah, you know, rock bottom price. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, that's not for me, but I can understand it. If, I, if they said, look, we've got a 15 pound budget for to cut our lawn, and I knew that I could come and just push the mower over it, no, not do the edges, not strim anywhere, just literally push the mower over, uh, probably, you know, just mulch it or something. That could be done for 15 pound, but I don't want it. I don't want to take, you know, something like that on. I don't want somebody seeing me with my distinctive shape, the green van, and then, you know, a shit garden left behind because that's what they'll think every garden's like. They won't think that the bloke's tight or the woman's tight. They'll think, oh, he does a shit job. I don't want it. Uh, but what really irks me is people that want it done cheap, they then want you to sort of thank them for it because that's the impression I get. Some people... I think they think, you know, they're doing us a favour. I know it sounds really bad, but I think some people think, like, they now owe us one. Uh, and they're almost smug about it, like, oh, you know, all high and mighty, like, we're doing a bit for the economy because I'm employing you. <laughs> and I've had it, and I've had no end of it, and it really does wind me up. So what I've said to myself this season is there's some things that I'm not taking on. I'm not taking on jungle gardens. Uh, you know, if you want to know why, a brief summary, uh, the more trouble it's worth and it's danger money. You know, I know other people make good living from it. It's not for me uh, because it's not just the doing it, it's the after. I don't want it. Uh, I don't want border work because it's, I'll be honest with you, people don't want to pay what it costs. And they look at you gone out when you were tying them how much it costs. They look at you and they're like, like they just if you can't understand it uh, for it to be done thoroughly it costs money and you don't want to pay it uh, and i don't want monthly grass cuts neither it's how it's growing at the moment grass is growing like fuck at the moment so a, a thought of a monthly cut i don't want it uh, and i don't hope this doesn't sound you know all smug you know and all that but it's just sort of you know this is my third year and I've never known it to be so busy. And I'm thinking to myself, is this just a short term thing? Well, I don't think so, because I'm picking up regular work from it. It's not like I'm going to have one month where, you know, I've just had loads of one offs and it's going to be dead again. Because it isn't, I've got a large, you know, existing customer base that offers me regular work. And then I've got, you know, other regular people coming in. So I'm taking on jobs all the time and I'm trying to sort of prioritise picking up these little mow and goes because you can just sort of slot them in here and there and everywhere also exterior cleaning i may as well talk about that uh, exterior cleaning is going brilliant at the moment it's yeah i, I can't describe it's it's going really good it's been a lot busier than i thought the goal that i set to earn has been smashed out the park basically uh, already so i'm very very happy with how that's going uh, and one difference I've noticed is I could go there and I could say to somebody, right, I'll do basically a full house clean. So fascias, gutters, uh, you know, and it could be, say, 150, you know. Yep, no problem. You'd have two hours. Yep, no problem, paid. 
you'll go there and you'll do half a day's gardening work you'll bust your bollocks off you know all the lawns will be done the edges will be done they would have quibbled the price to start with and then you would give them the price and then they would say to you oh it's a bit steep that is and you feel like you're sort of taking money you know you're having to take it not that they're giving it to you and again that annoys me um, because it's much of the same maybe it is that there's no you know a low barrier for entry for gardening but it really does wind me up but we're doing the exterior cleaning i'm noticing that there's none of that yeah you get the odd one who, who sort of you know you always get people oh you know like that miserable karen lady i commented on where she, oh well i'm not paying you to do my gutters I, I, i've worked hard to get what you know you get that in every job so what i want to finish off is I am getting now where I'm getting very busy, getting a lot of, as I've talked about fucking out, I keep repeating the same thing. I think it's this, this uh, overly stewed tea with oat milk and it's, uh, you know, frazzling my brain. But uh, somebody said to me once about you want to be always sort of dissolving your bottom sets of customers up. So eventually over time, your top set would be what your bottom set would have been for a few years ago basically you're looking for better and better work all the time and looking for better and better customers uh, and that's what i'm trying to do at the moment i'm at, and let me know what you do i'm at a choice now where i'll give you an example uh, i have i prefer me personally i prefer the the small regular jobs so i can go in do someone's garden i can be in and out within an hour fixed price because for me that gives me the best overall hourly price and then i'm on to my next one now on thursday morning every other thursday morning i go and do these two neighbors now i charge them hourly i put the price up this year and it's i'll be honest with you it's still not as much i could earn more by doing these smaller little jobs you know here there and everywhere uh, okay i'm not driving 10 mile one way but i, I keep within my town and my town's only small it's only probably four mile from tips to, well probably less than that so you know it's I, I can nip around it and i actually prefer that so my point is is that i'm going to look at getting rid of some of these customers i know it sounds horrible but it's like these two neighbors they're lovely people and this is the double-edged sword they're lovely and they leave me to it and they don't cause me any problems really but when you look at it from a financial side well i'm there for four hours so that's nearly half a day i can earn more by going elsewhere and doing these little one-off jobs so that's a double-edged sword and that's what i'm sort of thinking about all the time i know it sort of sounds a bit bad uh, and i think to myself well you know you could lose this but then i was sort of have always conditioned myself as to look at the bigger picture so you know the bigger picture is i'll be losing you know not much money over a month so there's that that's sort of going on but so far you know april and may have been bangers really it's been very good i am you know of a mindset of make hay well it shine so for me that's why i'm out you know doing as much as i am also i've got to go into hospital at the end of the year you know hopefully so again there's going to be a few months where i'm earning nothing just watching tom and jerry <coughs> so that's it that's the update guys have a good day. As usual, keep on gardening.